for you tonight. A father who was initially charged with killing his young daughter in the Will County town of Wilmington in 2004 is then set free by DNA evidence. Well, he died yesterday in a head-on crash in Arkansas. WGN's Dana Rebick is in Wilmington today, and she has reaction to the death of Kevin Fox. The Riley Fox Memorial Garden sits in the neighborhood where this little girl lived. Her murder nearly 20 years ago, still on the minds of residents here, who learned today of another tragedy to hit her family. Certainly when something that tragic happens to somebody that small and, you know, obviously a lot of people know each other around in this part of the, you know, part of the state. So, um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we probably going to be burned in everybody's memories for some time. The murder of three year old Riley Fox in the summer of 2004 is something the residents of Wilmington, Illinois will never forget. The um, neighborhood kind of went in turmoil. It was um, sad. Today, they learned the little girl's father, Kevin Fox, who was wrongfully accused in her killing, died in a car crash in rural Arkansas. The accident happened around 4 p.m. Monday near Dardanelle, Arkansas, about 75 miles northwest of Little Rock. Arkansas State Police say Fox was in a GMC Sierra truck traveling northbound on Highway 7 when a man in a Ford Focus crossed into his lane, hitting him head on. That driver was also killed. Kevin Fox was 46 years old and living in Centerville, Arkansas, with his second wife and daughter. You feel for him, especially everything he went through in the wake of that case and the incident. I mean, the only thing worse than losing a child has got to be getting blamed for it. So, yeah, just terrible for that family all around. Our, our hearts go out to him. Back in 2004, Kevin Fox was arrested and charged for the murder of his daughter. Riley Fox disappeared from their home overnight. Her body later found in a nearby creek in Forsyth Woods. Under intense interrogation at the time, Fox gave a videotaped confession he later recanted. Less than a year later, Fox was exonerated through DNA evidence with help from attorney Kathleen Zellner. Happy, I'm, I'm excited. We knew he didn't do anything wrong, and we knew that that would eventually come out. In 2010, Scott Eby, an imprisoned sex offender, confessed to the crime and was later convicted of Riley's murder. The Fox family sued Will County authorities and was awarded $8 million. Attorney Kathleen Zellner tweeting today, I just learned that one of our best, most courageous and kind clients, Kevin Fox, was killed in a car crash yesterday. Our sympathy goes out to his family and everyone who loved him, RIP. Hope he found some peace in whatever happened. It's just sad all the way around. It's sad for the, you know, for the family, the daughter. Now it's sad for his family to have to go through even more tragedy even so many years later. So. In Wilmington, Dana Rebick, WGN News.